put a game like that behind you? I mean, not necessarily. I feel like you want to win every game. I think, uh, you know, especially with the start we had in the first period, um, battled back to have the lead after the first. And then the second period just got away from us. You know, we knew it was going to be a, a good test for us coming into it. And um, obviously it's, uh, it's tough to see the second period go the way it did. And uh, I mean, the one good thing is with so many games coming up, it's uh, we can put it in the rear view mirror uh, pretty quickly and uh, we see them again next week. So it uh, gives us a chance to, to uh, you know, have a better game. Do you, do you guys learn anything playing? They're one of the better teams in the league, obviously. A lot of skill. Do you learn anything playing a team like that? Or are there any takeaways for you as far as what you guys need to do well against a team that plays like that? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think it's always come down to, to us putting our game together for 60 minutes. And, you know, against, uh, you know, especially against the, the good teams in this league, um, if you don't do that, it's, uh, it's going to cost you. Um, like we saw tonight, we... You know, let like I said, that second period slip away, and it, and it cost us the game. So um, I think you know, especially against the the top tier teams in this league, you need, you need to compete for sixty, and uh, we, we see what happens when we don't. Is there anything in particular about that second period that, that you noticed that you felt like you guys dropped it off with? I mean, I, they were getting even strength goals, power play goals. It's uh, I think our, our game as a whole um, just wasn't where it needs to be.